Okay, testing, testing one, two, three. Okay, that music might be a bit too loud, so I'm gonna turn that a bit. Hello there, everybody. How's it going? My name is Adamokta, and yes, uh, welcome to this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit worried about what was what is going to happen during this. Uh, after this, um, I am kind of putting myself as a target right now because I'm probably going to piss off a lot of people uh, judging their dinosaur just like that. However, I do feel like because it, it's it's almost 2004. I mean now it, it's just uh, it's about to become 2024 in just a few days. So you know what? I figured it is about time uh, I take a little bit of a re re you know. Think about, think a little bit, think uh, what happens during this year, you know, uh, think which dinosaur have I uh, enjoyed, which one have I not enjoyed as much, and actually I probably haven't played all of them, to be completely honest, but you know, that's besides the point. In any case, um, because, uh, wait, hold up, let me just uh, put off this, um, uh, put that, um, See, it's a bit the smaller, so I'm gonna put this a bit. There we go. Hmm. Uh, I mean, FDA doesn't really matter, does it? Do we really need to see it? Okay, <laughs> doesn't matter. In any case, let's just start off uh, with uh, what we came here for: basing off a uh, dinosaur. And again, I will try not to uh, be too. Uh, I'll try not to show any bias. This will be basically most of my own game gaming ex experience. So um, if you feel free to, uh, if you feel the, if you don't agree, feel free to try to. You you can try and persuade me. Maybe I can either bump the creature up or the creature down. We'll just have to see how far. So to be begin to begin with, let's start with. Um, I'm actually gonna skip. Um, Actually, we have the list uh, right here, so um, I, I was going to... S I, also, also, I'm just going to uh, do the official uh, released creature. I'm not going to do any creature who hasn't been released yet. I'm just going to do the creature that are in the game and uh, and those I, I have played as. I have played all of the officials and plus some mods, but I won't take any mods this time. Because if I did, we'll never get anywhere. In any case, I'm going to skip uh, uh, Alberto Ceratops just for now because I want to compare him to the other Ceratops in, in, in this game and I feel like I'm not going to be able to do that uh, because uh, those are a bit later in the list. But starting off, we got Alioramus. Pretty solid and so the survivability are actually pretty good. Um, okay, I'm going to base this off on uh, gameplay experience its chances of, sur of survival and a bit of pvp um what you call it uh, potential and um you know just overall fun to play uh, if it, you know just overall enjoyment you can get from the creature Elioramus, it's a speedy dinosaur uh, as far as um as far as uh, combat ability goes it is mostly a hit and run type of dinosaur um yeah, uh, if I had to, um, if I had to put it like, uh, it's not one of the strong. It is definitely one, not the, the strongest of creature. It is, it is. Uh, I haven't really played it that much myself, and you know, it kind of speaks for itself. And when you go into a server, then um, maybe not, uh, maybe not uh, the official servers, but if you go into a um, private uh, server then you won't see that many Alioramus uh, players. You might see a few but those are pretty uncommon and rare. In any case, um, I am gonna put the Alioramus on a... Um, I mean, when played correct this creature can be dangerous so I'm gonna put the Alioramus on B just for now and He's good, but uh, he's not that good. But if you're like a new new player to the game, he can be, you know, like he can be good. But the sort of yeah, the survivability uh makes uh, makes up. Uh, he's not C. He's not like a mid. -day. He's a, just a bit more better than I would say. You know, a C tier. I feel like. Now, uh, I think this is Allosaurus. Allosaurus, for those who have seen my uh, recent uh, Allosaurus uh, game uh, combat guy video, I'm going to put the Allosaurus on 
be as well. He is a rather fast dinosaur, but he, with the recent combat updates for most creature, the Allosaurus has become a bit of a underdog. He's not uh, weak or any, for any reason. No, 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 he's not weak. Don't misunderstand me. However, the other creature he's up against are definitely a bit... Uh, they are... Uh, it's not that they are completely outmatched, but he can be outmatched uh, pretty easily, especially if you're a solo player. In groups, however, in groups, however, they are... Allosaurus can be pretty dangerous, but alone, no. The next one, Amargosaurus. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the Amargosaurus in... Hmm... I was gonna go B, but... I mean... I wouldn't really say it's... Hmm... Yes, the Amargosaurus... Um, yes, the Amargosaurus who are kinda... In... I mean... He can definitely fend off uh, an Allosaurus if, if played correct. However, when it comes to like overall enjoyment you can get from him, he is a pretty slow creature and on the official server he is the only uh, sauropod. Uh, I don't know if I want to give him the extra point for being the only sauropod unofficially uh, yet. However... Mm. You know what, he deserves to be B actually, because um, if you can play this creature, then you actually you can be pretty dangerous. The bleed on this thing are pretty damn well, and... and <clears throat> oh, what was I going to say? Yeah, it, it's like, it's a creature you, you play if you want a challenge. Uh, if you want, uh, if you if you wish to be attacked, uh, then that is a creature you will most certainly be attacked by. Uh, uh, Creature will a certain other predators will definitely target you if you play as an Amargosaurus, and of course if you're alone. Pretty overall good enjoyment I can get from Amargosaurus, so I'm gonna put it on B. Now the Anodontosaurus. Anodontosaurus combat wise, pretty damn strong. When it comes to defense, he is pretty much uh, probably the overall master when it comes to defensive uh, combat style. Unfortunately, uh, when he goes on the attack, then of course he will he will be weaker and more open for attacks. So when played in defense, then uh, the Anodontosaurus are definitely uh, definitely uh, pretty high. However, due to the recent update with the clamp and uh, all that. Uh, the Anodontosaurus has become pretty... Mm. It's not that the Anodontosaurus are weak uh, by any chance, no, 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 it's just... Um, he, 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 his kryptonite, so to say, are now... Excuse me, oh. His kryptonite now are basically uh, the clamp from Sarkisuchus. It doesn't take much for a Sarkisuchus to just uh, run up from the from uh, the river, clamp the poor uh, Anodontosaurus, and just uh, carry him into the river and then drown him. I mean, on land against other land-based creatures, the, the Anodontosaurus are a powerhouse. However, against um, against the uh, oh, hold up. Uh, whoops. I just. Here we go. I'm back. Okay. Now, what I was going to say, yeah, uh, when it comes to uh, fighting, when it, when it comes to fighting, uh, to fighting um, anything but the uh, Sarkis Circus, then the Anodontosaurus are pretty good, but because of the Kryptonite with the Sarkis Circus, I. I would, play, I would place it on A. I have had a few really enjoyable gameplays with this creature. However, as it stands, I am gonna put it B. We're gonna we're gonna find a lot of creature I rank B. I mean, they are, and when I say B, they are not bad by any standard or any means. No, 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 no. It's just uh, they are good, but I have uh, I have had better uh, enjoyment from other creature creatures. Also, um. Okay, uh, this Alberta Ceratops is kind of just a stand. I, I don't like uh, jumping over it, so I'm gonna just uh, jump over to Eotra Ceratops so I can uh, take Alberta Ceratops right away. Okay, so to, to place the Eotra Ceratops somewhere, 
I the Triceratops are one of the, if not the strongest creature from uh, the herbivore side of the official creatures. Pro uh, I mean, of course, it's up for debate, but uh, it all de it depends on how you play. Of course, um, yeah, like I said, the the Triceratops is a powerhouse, definitely a powerhouse. However. Let's say you you play alone and you come across uh, a, a duo apexes against a solo uh, apex. You will you will have a much pretty good chance of beating them. However, against a duo apex, then you are not too fast to be able to run away. Um, maybe not a, a spinal. You can maybe run away from a duo spinal, but duo uh, T Rexes. You will, they can, you will have a difficult time running away from those, and if you are cornered, then you have no other choice but to fight. So, the survivability of uh, the Eo Triceratops, ah, uh, well, not the greatest, can you, so to say. Um, however, its combat abilities and you know combat potential definitely up there. However. It's still, let's say, let's say if you're a new player, then I don't know if this is a creature I would recommend for a new player. I mean, unless, uh, unless uh, I play along with them. For a solo new player, I wouldn't recommend this, but combat wise and the overall enjoyment, I'll put it on B. Now, uh, now I can go on, actually before Alberta Ceratops, I should go. Where's the Destoraco? The uh, Destoraco are... Uh... I can't even... Uh... Rapo? Is this this... Is this the Raco not even here? Uh... Oh, there it is! There it is! Tracer is at least a T unless you plan running away. <laughs> okay, okay, you... Okay, yeah, I'm talking about the... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. It becomes you know different when you, when it uh, it depends on your mindset, of course. I mean, if you're going to if you're going to if you're okay with uh, fighting until uh, the last breath, then of course. <laughs> However, wait, what's my thing? But uh, if we talk about uh, overall, nobody likes to be a loser. Yeah, you charge with Chabrotos. Yeah, that is true. Um, it does do a lot of damage. Um. Actually, before before I go completely into the Starako, I having trouble even finding him in, in this list. Um, before going completely off from the EO, uh, against Duo Apexes, what are the chances of a Duo uh, uh, of an EO um, uh, uh, of an EO uh, you know being able to? Okay, let's say let's say survive a duo uh, a duo apex. Let's not let's not say defeat. Let's uh, let's uh, think about uh, survival. I mean, survival uh, either running around and uh, not running uh, running away or damaging the creatures so hard much that they will uh, you know back off again. What are the chances of that? Or it, or or his odds of doing that, and one one EO Triceratops against uh, two Apexes. What are the chat? What are the odds? Depending on your answers, uh, I uh, I might I might bump this uh, EO up to an eighty, or I'll just keep it uh, as it is. I mean, two hundred two hundred plus damage are are a lot, but that is like from charge with sharpened horn, right? So. And the charge, and uh, not the charge, and um, the. Um, excuse me. <sighs> I, oh, I should not drank that uh, soda. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the the charge aren't too difficult to. Well, it's not easy to dodge, but it's dodgeable. I don't know if you. Is that a, yeah, it's dodgeable. You know what? I'm gonna just keep it as B for now, and if you guys uh, have a better. Uh, come up with a good argument, I'll bump it up to A. But for now, the the Styraca, the Styracosaurus, pretty much the, 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 I don't know, what is it called again, um, the picture boy of Pat Titan, he is on the logo. Uh, 
Yeah, the Soraka aren't as tanky, nowhere near as tanky actually. He's more of a... Of a uh... Yeah, he uh, because he is a pretty... Uh... He hits pretty hard, but he's also a bleeder. I mean, and he has pretty high sur survivability against Apexes because he's, of course, faster. But when you come to when you when you meet uh, what you call it um, mid tiers or low tiers, the Raptors and whatnot, alone you might uh, struggle against. Um, let me say, uh, against uh, yeah, against mid tiers you will struggle, but against low tiers. You might be able to fend them off if you target one individual. However, overall enjoyment for Mr. Rako are pretty much the on the same level as Eo Triceratops, if not better, just because he's this the Eo Triceratops, he isn't too too uh, quick, you know, you know, you take a long uh, turn, long time, I mean, to go from point A to B on the map. The Styraka a, a bit faster. Of course you can also always teleport, but Imagine you don't have any friends to play with. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. You have real good turning. Can use charge while standing. So I mean, if I'm standing inside someone, it will instantly hit them. That is true. That is true. You know what? You you convinced me. I'm about to yell up to an A. Pretty solid combat and enjoy and um, the enjoyment from him. I mean, if you play with people, then the then the, it is a completely fun. Nothing really wants to attack atta attack you, even if you're just a duo uh, Triceratops. And if you're three uh, or even or more, then it kind of feels like you know the Roman shield spear tactic. Or is that Spartan? Ah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. In any case, this is why my point. This is why I also skipped the uh, Alberto Ceratops because. Um, when it comes to Alberto Ceratops, for me he is definitely an A tier. The um, Alberto Ceratops, he he isn't as tanky as an uh, Eotra Ceratops. He isn't as uh, fast as a Sturaco, but he has the extra bulkness and a bit fa and faster than the Eotra Ceratops for that matter. So you can move around pretty quickly and you also have the bulkness and uh, power to fend off uh, even a duo mid tier so uh, combat wise and you know just overall enjoyment i get from uh, alberto ceratops are pretty solid even more so than i get from the tri triceratops i don't know why but this the rather slow moving of the eo triceratops are the only thing bring it bringing the eo triceratops down for me which is also why uh, I like uh, the Alberto Ceratops. I'm just gonna keep it as it is for now, but yeah. Speaking of uh, big bulkness and slow movements, uh, Bart's Boldia. Another B tier, I'm gonna have to admit. This B tier. Um, the thing is, the, um, <laughs> uh, if you think that the. Uh, the uh, the Eo Triceratops has uh, only attacks from, uh, you know, facing front. The Alberta, not Alberta, sorry. The uh, Barspolia has only attack facing backwards. So, um, you know, it's the complete opposite. It is a bit, is it a bit faster? I should probably look that up. I don't remember if it's uh, faster than the Eo or not, but he is, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed playing the Bars Bolia way more before when he had the knockback ability. However, now he is more of a meh. So, overall enjoyment, I had way more fun playing the Bars Bolia before. However, now he's definitely gone downhill. I, I At least compared to the EO track, I don't have as much fun playing the Bars uh, compared to the when I play EO track. Hello there, MX20. How's it going? Welcome to this tier making list, and hopefully I don't uh, you don't get too mad at me for disrespecting your main. Speaking of uh, disrespecting this little bugger, the um, Antosaurus, or what most player has dubbed it, the Kangaroo of Battle Titans. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually. Um, yeah, this dinosaur are definitely not for fighting. When it comes to just be running around being a little shit, 
this is definitely the creature you will you will go for. It's, uh, I mean, I would compare it to the Struthium Mimus. However, unlike, unlike the Struthium My, uh, unlike the Capitosaurus, the Struthium Mimus doesn't really have, excuse me, doesn't really have anything. Uh, I don't know, unique to it. The Camptosaurus has it, you know, kangaroo hops, which makes it, you know, a bit more fun to play, just because the kangaroo hops. The kangaroo hops are the only thing keeping, you know, pushing this uh, creature up. I mean, overall enjoyment. If you're just in the mood for trolling, then I would definitely just play the Camptosaurus. You you can definitely have a lot of fun just being a little shit. <laughs> Wants to be uh, having AoE on Tales and gets destroyed. That is true, yeah. That is one thing I didn't I don't really understand. I think it actually does, does it? I don't remember. I've been been a long time since I played the bars and because of my lack of enjoyment of it, that's pretty much why I don't play it as much anymore. However, I am just gonna I am gonna keep the bars as it is for now. I mean it's not too bad. I mean it's still a pretty powerful creature even though it falls short for for other on on other aspects, however, for Camto, I would put it all up to C. But uh, the Camto, it's really just meant for trolling, so I'm gonna put it on for D for being a dick. <laughs> however, not being a dick, we have the Ceratosaurus. Now, the Ceratosaurus. I don't know if I'm. I, I kind of want to. I don't know if to put it on C or on uh, B. The thing is, um, the Ceratosaurus. Yes, I have had fun with it, and it is pretty much. Uh, it is a tank creature. Uh, for its size, it's pretty tanky, and it can take on uh, a few uh, on a lot of creatures actually. Uh, especially not too much when you are alone. Of course, you can try on taking a uh, creature alone. But all odds are against you and if you're up for a challenge then then uh, you can actually i'm gonna put it on b it is one of the creature you want to take and play as if you want a challenge i feel like it is more of if you if you don't want to be like uh yeah you you want the uh, i don't know how to describe it i would say um that is true, um, all that, um, I don't know, um, it also depends on the player you're playing as, um, player skill are, are subjective, so, um, so, uh, let's say, let's say, uh, if I, let's say, for example, I, if I were to play against uh, a, uh, another me, but that uh, other me is playing a Spinosaurus, for example, if I were playing the Sardosaurus against another me who's playing in Spinosaurus, I don't think I would be, you know, be able to take down that Spinosaurus alone. Also because I'm a Spinosaurus main, so that is probably the reason why, but, because, I mean, but, you know, that buys away. Yeah, I don't know if... Mm, it's a bit difficult to say. Against the, during, in the right circumstances, uh, I don't know. The Sura and trash only does only only works if there's a body around. That is true. Hmm. Can we just walk into the normal hit? Them? Wait. Ah, uh, that is true. Yeah, they are the damaged. Um... You know what? I'm gonna put it on. Uh, I'm gonna put it on um, just A for now. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, yes, it, it is pretty powerful. But again, is this something uh, you would recommend for a rather new player? Maybe for a new player, um, maybe not. I will, um, unless you are with that player, of course. However. Um... He is pretty solid. He he can defeat the uh, Apexes, yes. However, yeah, it is not what I would suggest for a new player. I I I you know try to you know I try to see from perspective from everywhere, right? 
I want the perspective of every uh, you know possible player, and not just my own per and own and your personal bias. Just because like we can you know kill a bigger creature because we are more experienced doesn't mean like the rest of them can. And I try to make this list not too biased either. No. Any case, the next creature. From Cavenator. Also, that music is kind of getting annoying. I should have done something about that when recording that. In any case, mm, the Concavenator, I'm gonna put it on C. The Concavenator, it doesn't really have anything uh, going for it now. I think it's been a pretty long time since it got like a good update. Um, I mean, it's a semi-aquatic. So, you know, if you meet, a, meet a any creature you don't feel confident, you know, fighting, then there's always the water strategy. You can just uh, go into water. However, it's not... If you're in water, then you're an easy target for Sarko, Suko, or any other semi-aquatics. On land, you are a target for um, raptors or any other fast and yeah, deadly... Uh, creature so it's a bit of an I don't know underdog can you see for at the moment mainly because um, as long as he as soon as he gets an update maybe we'll see but for now I ha I'll have to put in on C oh, excuse me now um, the Daspletosaurus <clears throat> now the Daspletosaurus Actually, Daspletosaurus is definitely a creature I would put... Hmm... Wait, does he have... Yeah, Daspletosaurus does have the... Um, the what you call it, the... Um, oh, what you call it again? Uh, the slick uh, scales. Yeah, it does have the slick scales. So, and... It has that... Um, oh, I forgot the name, but the, the attack that... Uh, that uh, ignores the... Um, ignores the... Um, weight and armor on a creature. And it is a pretty solid creature. I mean, the main problem for Daspletosaurus are actually of the mid tiers. However, when it comes to killing Apexes, it is really, really good. Mm, yeah, true. Also, hello there, and I can see. Um, yeah. Thing is, uh, in a in a head-to-head -head battle, of course, then uh, this that split resource will not lose. I mean, uh, not lose. Uh, will lose. For example, he's going to lose um, against, uh, for example, Rex in a head-to-head -head battle. However, um, if if done correctly, then he can win against an uh, Rex. Not easy, but uh, but with efforts. Uh, hold on. Um. I, I'm, I don't know to, to put it on A or S. The thing is... Uh, okay, so... Okay, so stat-wise and combat potential aside, let's think about maybe the overall enjoyment that from you can get from uh, the Daspurosaurus. If you play this creature, is it more fun to play it uh, solo or is it more fun to play it uh, with people? Of course it's going to be more fun to play it with people, at least in my opinion. Alone, you have you have good combat and you know survivability alone. But uh, when you play with creatures, uh, not creatures, with other people, your your danger level just goes up exponentially. So, any uh, overall enjoyment? Okay. So, uh, yeah, that is true. You know what? I'm just gonna put it on the, the benefit on the doubt for the doubt, and I'm just gonna. I, I, I want to play it, place it on S, but the, the technicality also plays it down in A. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the. Uh, it's not that slow. It can uh, keep up with most um, of the mid tiers somewhat. It can't maybe outspeed them, but it can. He has pretty pretty decent uh, stamina. As long as he doesn't use his stamina draining abilities too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that's a really thing, uh, not danger, uh, difficult uh, placing, I gotta admit. Ugh. 
Okay, so if we if we roll out if we if we roll out the uh, apexes, how does uh, that Splitosaurus fare against uh, against the um, uh, other mid tiers solo? Let's say uh, solo solo play that Splitosaurus uh, versus uh, the other mid tiers um, Allosaurus, uh, Pycnomosaurus, um, and uh, mid tiers from the herbivores, for example, uh, Iguanodon or um, Amargosaurus. So. Uh, okay, so okay, so we all agree uh, with uh, around A or S. Oh, that's just bad. It's just gotta go down a bit. Just don't want that stupid thing. Maybe I should probably buy that uh, block ads thingy later. In any case, um, you know what? Okay, uh, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna view this from a uh, solo uh, perspective then. Solo, I mean, solo dash A tier, but in a group S. That is that is what that that is the conclusion we reach. Out, okay, that's the conclusion. That's the conclusion. Solo A, but uh, group S. Man, that was a difficult creature. Now the next one, Dinochirus. Dinochirus, um, I don't know. I would, I would say. Uh, the thing is, it's been a while since the Dinochirus got a, got a good update, hasn't it? And like, hasn't it been a while since the Dinochirus really actually got an got an update? I mean, before uh, I would uh, fade this creature as a spino. However, with the recent updates, um. The Dinochirus hasn't been that great. Combat wise, at least. Excuse me. Uh, uh, I'm. You know, I'm tempted to put the Dinochirus at B alongside the bar. I mean, it's great to have like a. Um, to have like a. Um, and not not completely firing power. I also think about overall enjoyment of playing the creature and what it would you know what a new player or players can you know what kind of experience gameplay experience new and older players can get from the creature. Which is also why, at least on official and uh, and or um, uh, private servers, I don't really see that many uh, ducks player anymore. Um, before it was a lot, I would usually see them, uh, you know, either in groups of two or four. However, now there aren't that many, and on official, not official, uh, on private servers, I can understand that because you know, um, Dinosuchus keeps them, you know, from uh, the from keeps them out of the rivers, and you know, Dinochirus are more enjoyable when you can play them in the river as well, you know, land water. You know what? For combat prowess and overall enjoyment, I am gonna place it on the yeah. But yeah, it's not that the Dinocardus aren't that uh, you know weak in any way or shape or form. I mean, against if you can play him good, then he is a powerhouse. He's still tanky. However, he is a bit. I would say it's the lack of abilities, and you know. If a creature aren't, you know, on par with the other creatures on, in terms of abilities, then you can't really get a good enjoyment, you know, I, I don't know. Then maybe, I mean, there's a lot of creatures that, you know, don't have that uh, big arsenal, which you can get if a bit of good. Now what, I'm just gonna keep it on B and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, if you, if you guys have any, you know, come up with any better uh, argument, then I'll uh, other... I don't know, I'll pop it, pump it up or, you know, take it down. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, for um, next one, Dynamicus. Actually, I'm gonna put the Dynamicus also in... I was gonna say B, but I don't know, A. The thing about the, the Dynamicus... Yeah, I would say that is uh, accurate, though, yeah. The Dynamicus Kyrus are just incomplete. But as for the Dyn Dynamicus, the thing is, compared to the other raptor currently in official game, it's a bit you know on the weak. It's it's on the weakest side compared to the to the other creature in the game. 
However, it is pretty. It's still a solid dinosaur. Uh, I don't know. It's um. In groups, they are complete. Okay, for the dino uh, dynamicus, I'm gonna view this from group play at least, or with you know with the perspective from a group play, because uh, even with the pouncing, it is still difficult to take anything down as a dino dynamicus. In a group, however, the that changes drastically. Um, I wouldn't say that he is uh, alone uh, capable of taking down apexes. Uh, unless you're really, really good, then the Ipaxi are really, really bad. However, Anonychus... Also, I think he has a sense ability, but there's no ability for the sense yet. He has a sense slot, but no sense ability. So yeah, the, the Dynamicus incomplete. However, it's really fun to play as, especially with the... With the... the uh, whatchamacallit, the pouncing mechanic. Now. The next creature, okay, so I'm just gonna put, uh, say this, uh, I'm just gonna take the uh, Euronrhinosaurus Euro and Kareka, I probably butchered, uh, um, butchered those uh, pronunciations. I'm just gonna put both of these aquatic dinosaurs on, uh, on E. They are unique. I really like actually playing them in the ocean and all of, and uh, you know, taking uh, chance, the risk and uh, going up rivers as well. However, the ocean and, I mean, these are, you know, they, these are marine, uh, marine uh, creatures. They are, they are, they are supposed to be in the ocean, most of the cases, but um, the ocean are still pretty empty. There's, I mean, when they came out, they was pretty hype, but for now, the ocean are still pretty empty to play them. Even with mods, you, you rarely see players play these creatures uh, out in the ocean. They rather want to, you know, be on land, and that is understandable, but... Things is... Uh, for the Urinos... Ah, uh, I'm probably butchering. For the Dolphin and, and the Loch Ness Monster, um, <laughs> it's still lacking. They have potential. I will say they have potential. They have potential, but... Um, as long as the ocean are as empty as it is, then it's not really um, it's not really too much fun to play as them, uh, unless when you know there's a lot of hype around them. So um, I say they are up for they they have potential. They uh, they they just need to release more stuff, you know. But for now, I'm just gonna put them on E, just for the lack of content. But they have potential. They have potential. Apparently, Dino, uh, I, Dinomicus, uh, Algrim, Metallum, Bite, Apple, Meat, Chunk, Up. Pretty sure all of the, the uh, Predators, <laughs> and for some reason, even the Herbivores can do it, can uh, take off meat. Wait, oh, you mean like meat chunks from? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drop that topic. I'm not gonna say anything I'm not too sure on. Urano is actually the really can can really bully stuff out of the water. Really? I mean, yeah, it does have the latch on ability, but but um, while that is, uh, you know, an annoying ability for those who are getting targeted, um, it's still, it's really not, uh, you know, they, they, um, oh, what I was going to say, I lost it. I, I, it's still, you know, it, they still, you know, re leave the leave room uh, much to, you know, be expected. I feel like uh, there's still much you would want from these creatures, which uh, are not in the game yet. However, I say they have potential, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, for our latest, uh, latest, um, well, what you might call it, uh, release, our newest member of the roster, at least the. Uh, at the date of this uh, this uh, stream, that's a Gopterix, which um, you, uh, yeah. which in my latest uh, comeback video I just called the hats, and I'm gonna do it here too. That's a Gopter. I'm just gonna call it hats. The hats. Pretty solid uh, creature. Um, it's way, um, combat wise and stat wise, it is superior to. It's way tankier than the quests, 
I mean, I did uh, I did release that short uh, video on on uh, me face tanking a quits, and I face tanked the the quits easily. However, if we think about if we think about it, actually, before I should uh, also put up the Thaumadromius. The thing is, um, the hats the hats um, are pretty. Right now, he has a few broken abilities, so to say the least. Um, a stab that does 100 damage, absolutely ignoring armor and weight. That is just... wow. Um, and of course, we have the Peck Barrage. I don't think the Peck Barrage are too OP. However, it is still pretty uh, damaging. Yeah, I was gonna say... Uh, the thing is, uh, I mean, combat-wise uh, aside, um, if we take a on official servers, these creatures are the only like uh, flying potential threat. We have the Thalmodromias, however, Thalmodromias are, are an annoyance. Thalmodrom Thalmodromias are not a, a real threat, unless you're a juvenile, of course. But but um, Hatsugop the Rex are definitely are definitely a threat. And it is like the only uh, two, one of the two only flying creatures of the map. So, like, if you want to fly around the map uh, pretty quickly, and you also want to be a danger to other player, then Hatsugotrix really is the only creature to give that gaming experience on the official servers. So, um, I wouldn't really say, um, I wouldn't really say that uh, Hats. Um, I mean, combat, combat and stat-wise, uh, the hats uh, can be debated. However, for what you can experience from uh, the hats gameplay, gameplay-wise, then I would say that it is at least either a, maybe as if you're in a group, but uh, for gameplay, the gameplay it can give a pretty damn good. I just really like being able to fly around and also be a danger. You can't get that from Thalmodromius. So that's just, it has one core cool problem that hinders it solo, etc. That is true, that is true. I'm a, okay, I'm gonna place it on A. I, I know that some of you might not agree with this, but I, this is just because of the overall experience that you can get from the hats. Um, which is also why I'm gonna, by the way, throw the Thalmodromius just down on, uh, on this. You know what, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna throw it on the same uh, same level as the Camptosaurus. The thing about the, the Camptosaurus and the Thalmodromias, I feel like they are just up for they are just trolling creatures. The, these creatures they aren't really that dangerous. Uh, they aren't really a serious threat unless you're uh, small. And uh, Thalmodromias and Camptosaurus they just they are just there to be trolls. They have an uh, Thalmodromius have an annoying laugh, the annoying calls, and it's just annoying when it pecks you. And uh, however, it's not dangerous combat-wise, and that is what's really dragging it down for me. I like, uh, I like the, I like uh, be feeling dangerous while also flying. You know, like being a flying danger. But yeah. I'm gonna uh, place it down for D for being a dick because it is definitely uh, just a dick. <laughs> You're not not in S, it's kind of crazy way. Yes, yes and no. The only thing I understand about that uh, CAD, but um, so, uh, CAD BR? Yeah, CAD BR. Um, the thing is, the only reason I didn't put it on uh, S is due to the reason is it's kind of slow. If you want to travel, you know, ar around the map, I kind of don't like the slow pace, I suppose. This is also why this is why I, uh, at the time now, prefer the faster creature. Uh, creatures, you know. You kind of... I don't know, I mean, it feels tanky by all, by all means, but th that is why I put it on uh, A. Uh, had any problem with solo hats? Yeah, yeah, I mean... The thing is... Uh, I'm just gonna keep it up that and and, uh, and if you have any uh, better a good if you if you guys come up with any good arguments then I'll pump it up a little bit. We'll see. For now I'll just keep it as it is. 
Now, Iguanodon. There's something I want to. I don't know. This, this might, uh, this might uh, cause a bit of trouble. Thing is, I really actually enjoy the Iguanodon. The Iguanodon are pretty tanky. He's pretty quick, and yeah, if you like run into if you run into a group of uh, Apexes, you can easily outrun them. However, when, if you meet up against the uh, mid tiers, you do you are tanky enough and strong enough to be able to you know at least I don't I mean the odds are uh, probably against you. You probably will die if there's like a uh, for a, a shit ton of uh, mid tiers. However. You might be able able to either one fend them off or two uh, take one of them with you, and that is also it's not too uh, it's not uh, too slow. It's tank. It's somewhat. It's pretty tanky, and the overall enjoyment I uh, have gotten from playing the Guandon are pretty high and pretty solid. So I think the Guandon might be my f f one of one of pretty good the dinosaur. It might be the first S, to be completely honest. If you have any counter-argument against that, then now is the time. However, the overall enjoyment, the overall... Uh, it, it, it It's combat potential. It's uh, potential to run away if there, there are, you know, at, um, uh, what you call it? Danger... Danger... Uh, what was I going to say? You know, danger lurking, then you have a chance to either one run away or take them with you. So, so you know, um, I am gonna play, I think I'm gonna play Sigwanodon on S for now. Now then, <clears throat> next one is the Kentrosaurus. I really shouldn't uh, have drunk that then. Let's see, uh, Kentrosaurus. I think I'm gonna put that on. Uh, I don't know. The thing is, the Kentrosaurus are. Um, it's an annoyance, but it's a dangerous annoyance. The bleed, it, the bleed the Kentrosaurus has are pretty devastating. However, alone, if you like a mid tier, low tier, or somewhat, then the bleed can be pretty uh, bad. And it's fast too, so it's uh, it's kind of difficult to hit it. However, alone, I don't know. I might need the yoga to tell to do. I might. I don't know. My limited with the Kentrosaurus. I mean, my time with the Kentrosaurus are limited, so I don't really. I'm not really too sure. The bleed are pretty OP, and I have taken down large game in groups. I haven't been able to do it alone, unfortunately. <laughs> However, I have been able to do it in group. Um. Oh, any any uh, any uh, experienced uh, Styrac uh, not Styracosaurus um, Kentrosaurus players in the chat there? Um, are, are, a, are a solo Kentrosaurus capable of taking down, for example, an Apex? Um, I have only been able to do it in groups, but are they able to do it... Um, uh, what you call it? Um, uh, what you... I don't know. Oh, oh, it's, it's actually a pretty good defensive playstyle. Oh, okay, I suppose. In the group, I usually only play that attack, so that does make sense. And yeah, it does also give bleed when uh, when the creatures attack it, because, you know, spikes and all that. Um, however, how is it when you, for example, take damage when, when it is the one taking damage? Pretty sure... Yes, I don't know. You can wait. You can be patient. Too much time. <laughs> too much. Oh man, calling all of us out, eh? I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty, You're calling all of Paddle Titan and gaming gamers out there. Not appreciated, dude. Not appreciated. <laughs> In any case, um, actually, um, Kentro, Kentro, Kentro. Ah oh, man, you're a difficult one. I gotta say, Kentro. 
Okay, okay. Um, let's uh, let's take it uh, from a uh, from a new player's view then. Uh, would you, is Kentrosaurus uh, a creature you would recommend for a new player? Uh, I'm a bit off and on about that. When I recommend this game for new players, then I would usually go with something a bit more quicker on its feet because uh, with uh, some of the creature being slow. Some, uh, you know, newer player can get bored pretty easily if uh, there's nothing happening and, you know, if you're a hulking giant herbivore then nothing really wants to attack you. So, you know, you do want a creature who is a bit, um, you know, past lighter on its feet to be able to, you know, to keep the action going. However, aside from that, not really, um, I don't know, you can play it in a way that pushes them uh, to beat like their placing bleed. That is true. Hmm. You know what? I am I am a bit too ignorant to say uh, too much on Kentrosaurus, so I'm gonna just take your word for it. And if you guys don't uh, agree with me, then uh, blade it on Honya. You take uh, responsibility for this. I'm not. <laughs> ah, ah, this this is fun. Next one, we got the Lambiosaurus. Or I will, which most play, plays probably are called out being, you know, which most player calls l the Lambulance. <clears throat> the Lambiosaurus. Before a few updates, they didn't really have too much going on for it. It was one of the only healing dinosaurs in the game. However, now it has a few. I mean, it's still uh, probably the only healing dinosaur, dinosaur for official creatures on the herbivore side. I would say, I mean, it's still pretty, uh, it is still pretty tanky. I remember the first, the very first time I played Sukumimus, I got my butt handed to me for, by a Lambiosaurus. I remember that. Um, I remember going up from, uh, yeah, was it? Uh, yeah, it was uh, Corpse Co. I was uh, going, uh, I was going from Corpse Co. down to Spine Lizard Lagoon. Uh, I met a, I met a Lambio on the way. You know, I wanted some action. I thought I could take it. It's just a Lambio. Man, oh man, did I get my butt handed to me. <laughs> and so yeah, the Lambiosaurus can be pretty, can be pretty dangerous. You know. If you, you know, could play it right. And being the only uh, uh, herbivore with a healing call for now, then if, if you play the long game, you you can take on uh, pretty much, uh, you know, you know, mid tiers and other stuff if you play it right. So yeah, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, and for a new beginner, and you know, it's a good, actually a pretty good, a good uh, starting dinosaur too for new players, I'd say. So yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, you know, for for the for for respect though that one Lambiosaurus who got who handed my butt to me that time, and when you know, you know it, uh, you know, I'd say that people underestimate it. So I'm gonna put it, uh, I'm gonna put it on. Um, B. And it's pretty much fun to play as in group too, so I would say the overall enjoyment are, you know, pretty good too. Actually... Ah, oh, okay, nah, 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 never mind, never mind. Now, the Latvian Natrix. <laughs> oh man, oh man, Latvian Natrix, Latvian Natrix, Latin, 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 Latin. Aren't you the one who has gotten a lot of attention these past few days and weeks? And even month. Oh. Uh, the Lambisaurus, yeah. I haven't really seen. I mean, Raptors right now. Raptors are a complete nuisance for almost everybody. I mean, let's say you're a Spinosaurus and you want to fight a T Rex. Of course, you want to put the most stuff on, on uh, you know. Uh, on defense. However, if there's raptors around, you just can't do it. If you do so, it's going to be so annoying having to deal with raptors uh, at, the, at the same time, so... I mean, alone, there's still a bit, you know, it's still limit. Uh, one raptor are, are, are still pretty limited. I mean, if you if uh, one raptor and one rex uh, of the uh, same player experience and skill fight each other, 
then the odds should still be with the Rex. However, if uh, if oh yeah yeah I forgot that the the the, the bleed are still in the game, so um, I don't know what it's going to be like when you know they remove the bleed and you're gonna have to re rely on damage alone. However, for now. If you're in a group, and yeah, that, that is also what I wanted to say. If you're in a group and you play, um, or you're gonna hunt like any, you're gonna hunt something, you play in a group and, you know, this creature are, it, uh, it makes you want to play in a group, you know, and I don't know, when you play without it, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, I know, everybody wants to be like, yeah, I can play things alone, I'm solo, blah, blah, blah. However, Playing in a group with the uh, as Latin and taking down larger game, it is it's really enjoyable. It's it's so much fun, so much fun. So uh, that is why I'm um, just be just out of the the shared uh, you know amount of um, fun you know gameplay wise and and the ability uh, you know combat the ability. Uh, not the ability, combat potential with the pouncing mechanic, I am gonna put the Latin on um, on S tier. Now also what's uh, also what uh, change it, you know, not change it, it sets it, sets it apart from the um, from the Dianonicus is the other, only main be mainly because that the Latin are a bit more tanky than the Dianonicus, which allows it uh, to be able to bring down larger game. However, what was it? Ah, never mind. However, uh, yeah, I I really like the gameplay, uh, the uh, not the, uh, the team gameplay uh, of uh, Latin and Nature. and it's it's going to sadden many Latin mains when they remove the bleed. But for us others, we couldn't wish for a bet. We couldn't wish for anything else. Now then, uh, we are not in the game. Not in game, man. Megalania. Megalania, Megalania, Megalania. Oh, how the annoyance pestens have uh, been reduced to more annoyance pests. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, Megalania were a bit, were definitely a, a lot more difficult to handle before. The thing about with Megalania, yes. Um, the worst thing a Megalania can come up against are a mid tier, to be honest. I mean, mid tiers they have the speed to keep up with the, the Megalania, and they are and creatures like the Dasp and um, and also the Allo have the have the tankiness, the bulkness to you know tanky attack. The the Venom aren't really that effective, to be honest. I mean, it works, but it's not that effective and. As for mid, uh, as for, as for it up, up up against apexes, it had a, it had a smaller uh, per percent uh, chance of uh, defeating uh, uh, an apex before. However, ever since that uh, apexes got the AOE abilities, oh yeah, the Meg has just fallen off so so much. However, it is not completely. I would say it's actually on the same level as the Concavenator, to be honest. Um, it is just there. I mean, it's. Uh, I wouldn't say an annoyance. I mean, it is still dangerous if it's play hard. I mean, not play hard. Uh, played correctly. However, it's just weaker. It is. It's like think of it as. Um, it is just that one thing you know. You need to you know keep on look out. Uh, look out for you know. Nothing to take seriously, but just you know. Keep in mind, the Cantosaurus and Talmadromius usually, you know, just uh, falls, you know, at the back of my, you know, just, just falls back, you know, in behind the mind, you know, you, you can, you know, just sinks into the background. You don't really take them uh, seriously, but a Meg, you kind of have to if you decide to attack. Now, uh, the much <clears throat> the metria canvas source actually uh before i continue i need something to drink that is a correct that is correct uh on you uh yeah sorry and yeah sorry uh yeah it is a passive threat oh. 
one to look out for, not one to take serious. <clears throat> uh, the next one, Metrio Campus. Mm. Or Metrio Campus Taurus. <clears throat> now before, technically only this and uh, Megalania are the only venomous creature in the official uh, gameplay or in the official roster. However, ever since the Metro Campus got it, you know, um, I didn't like that they took away the venom from its uh, from its uh, mouth. However, I w I do like the healing calls that they gave him. Yeah, it's pretty much the only official uh, healing dinosaur from the carnivore side. However, I mean. In the, I have been able to take down, you know, mid tier solo as the Metro Campus Over. So if you not, if you play it correctly, then you can take down at least a mid tier. I don't know about the um, Apexes. I ha I hard, I highly doubt you'll be able to take down Apexes solo as this creature. Uh, also, we are due to the uh, fact that for the enemy to become, you know, venomized, you kind of have to let them hit you. And that is not really too good for the metric Ampho excuse me the metric Ampphosaurus. however it the overall gameplay it has more to offer than compared to the Megalania I mean the Megalania are a past and not past, um, are a uh, semi aquatic however so are the creatures who are way more fun to play as for example uh, the croc so uh, Sarcosuchus. So, um, just because the Megal and not Megalina, Metric Ampersaurus has, uh, you know, more to offer in its, uh, you know, gameplay, I'm gonna put the, the Metri on B. Now, uh, I gotta skip a few creatures, um, Pachycephalosaurus, the Pachy. <laughs> Oh, I remember the days when Packy was such a threat. The uh, carnivorous Packy is running, uh, scampering about. A group of uh, either six or seven Packies just uh, coming to kill your Rex. Oh, I remember those days. However, now with the AoE attacks, with the new updates, the Packy Cephalosaurus are now more of a. Uh, I don't know. It's still pretty fun and pretty much fun to, you know, um, if you see, it's fun to, you know, charge creatures and, you know, if they are by a cliff and you can just charge them and uh, they'll, they'll uh, you know, get uh, get knocked off the cliff. That is still pretty fun to do, if you get the chance to do it, of course. And, I mean, I don't know, that is the only thing. It's still pretty... I mean, because of the addition of hats, it's it needs to look out uh, for you know flying for for those uh, flying uh, idiots. However, for the for the rest of them, yeah. I mean, uh, I know I don't know. The Panky, wait no. Um, the Panky can be grabbed by hats, but. Um, so they need to look out for that, but it's still pretty fun, pretty much fun to, you know, knock creatures off high ledges. However, I don't know if that's good enough to be put on... Uh, I'm debating if I should uh, put it on um, either D or C. I don't think it's good enough to be put on uh, B. However... I mean, it used to be such a fun uh, creature to play as, but now it's kinda... Meh. And I'm not talking about the uh, combat potential, now I'm just talking about gameplay-wise, you know, general gameplay uh, experience. Uh, and... Uh, you know what? I don't know, unlike the camp though, the, the packet kind of have, um... Kind of have, uh... The packet does have co more combat potential, um... At least more compared to the, um, the Kanto and Thalmadromia, so only because of that, I am going to put it on C. I think Huts should be in a B. Uh, Combat-wise, combat I do agree with you, Raptor. However, the only reason I put it on A, I do, the, I do, just, to, I do to just the gameplay experience you can get from the Huts. 
you think and uh, no, no, you know nothing um is the um the hot star the only creature on official servers that are a that is a flying creature and a danger you see the thalmodromia is the only other flying creature on uh, on uh, on uh, official servers are more of a annoyance not really a threat the hot star however is a threat so that is the only reason i put it on a only because of the uh, overall gameplay experience and not of, not because of what it is, you know, capable of combat-wise. Now then. Ooh. Next creature. It's a pretty... I'm pretty sure this is a fan favorite. Pycnonomosaurus. The bigger version of a... Um, of a... Uh, Carno. Now, Pycnonomosaurus. Played it both solo and in group. Oh, excuse me. So, so much fun even to play as in the group. Um, against um, Apexes, as long as you don't get bone broken by your ex or anything. Against Spinos, for example, then you are three, three Pycnos or even two against uh, a uh, lone Spino. Pretty, pretty good odds for the Pycno. Against uh, a uh, Apex like Rex, you only need to look out for the bone break. And um, overall, uh, gameplay wise, it is the fast dinosaur. It has pretty good. Uh, it has pretty good. Uh, what you call it? Um, stamina region. Pretty solid dinosaur. Not to. Not to. Not gonna lie. It's pretty solid dinosaur. However, if you don't know how to play this. Um, I don't know. Should I? Is it is it um, is it an ST or is it an AT? Um, I mean, let me think. Yeah, it does have the knockback ability, so it can knock uh, other it can knock other creatures off high ledges. That is also an option. Mm. Okay, so um. I'm a bit uh, torn uh, uh, if I should uh, put it on, if I should uh, take this uh, from perspective of group gameplay or a solo play. I'm gonna take this from a solo play and, you know, if we take into consider what the, this creature ca has to offer uh, gameplay wise, then I am gonna put this on... Um, I'm, I, uh, I'm gonna put the... Uh, Man, I don't know. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the Pycno in A for now. And if you have a good argument, then I'll, uh, I'll put in, I'll see what I'll do with it. Now. <clears throat> the Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus had gotten a lot of changes, to say the least. I mean, <laughs> Before it was a uh, somewhat uh, pretty, it was a pretty good brawler. However, now they uh, they are making it more mainly focused for to be an ambush predator. The Sarcus Circus, um, while not the odds are too good against it uh, with other just as fast uh, creatures in in water. Uh, it it is really really fun to you know just take a creature with the clamp and then drag him into water and then watch them dr drown. Is that is that bad? Nah, it's not bad. Uh, it is really fun. Not to mention you are the only the only perfect counter to an Anodontosaurus at current stage of things. It is so, it's so much fun to just clap an Anodontosaurus, take it to water, and just watch this uh, impregnable, uh, no, impregnable, yeah. Uh, this uh, highly defensive creature drown in the water. It's so much fun. I don't know why. I, I, I need to see a doctor. However, I think I'm gonna put them. Um, Due to what it can do, as uh, you know, as uh, with the clamp ability and you know being the perfect counter to some creature, and you know, at least gameplay wise and you know its combat potential and ability wise, I am gonna put this on uh, A tier. The, th the reason why I don't put it any higher are due to the reason of it. Um, 
it is mainly confined to water. You see, um, I don't know. Uh, thing is, this creature, if you want to, if you want to, um, you won't be able to leave the water, so to say. Uh, if you, when you play as this creature, you kind of have to stay in the water, and you're not the only creature in water, so you're not completely safe there either. However, if you if you if you ignore those creatures, then you are a pretty solid creature, but. Due to the limitation of where you can go, I am gonna put it on A. Now, next, next one. <clears throat> oh, this one is another fan favorite, the Spinosaurus. Actually, before I do that, I am gonna have to do take the. Um, I, I need to take the Rex first, mainly because. Um, if I am to, if I am to, uh, if I am to uh, say what the Turan, uh, what Spino is, I need to take uh, take a look on what the T Rex are. The thing is, with the T Rex, okay, this might be a bit uh, biased, but but uh, the T Rex, I think it's like a, I think it's also for nostalgia. When we first start off on our dinosaur journey, we all think of the T Rex, you know. Uh, we have, uh, you know, the T-Rex has definitely been on our path in our journey as dinosaur fans. However, the thing about the Rex, why I'm putting it on A tier, it is really good, uh, uh, you know, uh, at bra uh, brawling. Probably even one of the best. A combination of, uh, <clears throat> uh, whatchamacallit, um, a combination of uh, base tank and... Um, and uh, deep rumble it's pretty much uh, i don't think the the only other other creature it can even take out an eel triceratops with the combination of those and um, with if you take that into consideration the only other creature that can fight a rex head-to-head uh, -head clash with the combination of uh, face tank and deep rumble or, or uh, another rex at least on the official servers. So, um, however, the only reason I put it on A are due to the fact on where it can go. You see, if you play as a Rex and you play on, you you need you are confined to land, of course. Um, if you like, uh, you see a pack of, let's say you you see a pack of maybe four or five uh, Allosaurus. As a Rex, you're not going to beat that. Be realistic. You're not going to defeat uh, 4 or 5 uh, Allosaurus. So, um, and, and Tyrannosaurus Rex, you don't... Let's say, you're, you're at Grand Plains. You see 4 or 5 Allosaurus heading towards you. You are you're stuck between uh, the, those Allosauruses and the river. You you have no way... You have no way to... Nowhere to run. You are stuck to fight, and it's a fight you're most definitely going to lose. Which is also why I'm going to put uh, the Spinosaurus in S tier. I mean, yes, I, it may be a bit biased only because I am a Spino main, but hear me out, hear me out. The, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, I will, I will admit that on paper, the Tyrannosaurus Rex are superior to the Spinosaurus. However, the Spinosaurus are not... Uh, He's not uh, limited to only land. The Spinosaurus can also go in water, l uh, you know, uh, escaping whatever danger may be on land. So while the Tyrannosaurus uh, doesn't have any other choice but to fight and also die, the, the Spinosaurus can just go into the water and live to fight another day. Which is the only uh, reason that I put the Spino uh, on S and uh, the T-Rex on A. Mm, might be a bit uh, biased because uh, you know my standpoint and all, but at least I hope you understand. At least uh, from a combat uh, perspective. Not to mention, um, both creatures are pretty slow, so when you do start off with this creature, you kind of have to expect that this is going to be a slow moving, um, slow moving gameplay. Now then, for the next creature, I am going to. This is uh, the Stegosaurus. 
the Stegosaurus. It is wrong to compare. I feel like it. Yeah. I am going to compare it a lot to Kentrosaurus. However, the Stegosaurus are pretty much the same, but tankier and a bit slower, but tankier. However, it's still uh, fast enough to dodge the worst attack from Apexes, and it can defend it. It can defend, the, defend itself pretty well against mid low tiers. Against mid tiers, it kind of depends on how uh, the how it's how the mid tiers and the stego are played. I mean, if you play stupid, then of course you're gonna die. But if the attackers play stupid, then you may win and live for that matter. However, I am, I don't know, I feel like overall gameplay-wise and combat-wise, the Stegosaurus and Tentrosaurus are kind of the same. Um, I have I have been able to, I mean, in, in all, own personal experience, I have been able to kill uh, both big and small stuff as a Stego, but it's not that good to be an S tier. I don't know. And overall, however, overall enjoyment, I do. I have uh, had a more fun playing the Stegosaurus, more so compared to the Barspoldia and Dinochiris. So I am gonna put the, the Stegosaurus on A tier. Now then, I'm gonna skip one of them here right now and save it for last, and then I'm gonna do Sukumimus. Now, Sukumimus. I'm gonna I'm gonna view this uh, creature the same way I view uh, the Albertoceratops. Actually, the Albertoceratops are you know it's not as tanky as the Eo. It is not as fast as the Sturaco, but it has the bulkiness uh, to be able to tank a few hits and be able to run away from the worst danger. The same applies to the Sukumimus when it comes to you know low you know tiers lower than it it can hold its own pretty good pretty well good and because it's also semi-aquatic the enemies uh, he has to face can be limited or you know he can you know he can just say no to a battle and you know just dip into the water also with the claw barrage and all of the other new stuff he has gotten the um, Sukumimus, when played correctly, can even take out the bad apexes or, you know, apexes in general, if you know what you're doing. In any case, and, yeah, and of course it's, uh, you know, faster than the Spino, so it's pretty much a uh, fast, uh, um, a fast, uh, not as tanky uh, Spino, so to say the least. So, um, I am gonna put it on... Um, on A, only because uh, it's not as tanky as the Spino, and uh, this is just my own bias, I mean. Uh, I'm not saying that the Suko can just uh, go up to a Rex and expect to win, I can I'm not saying that. Um, of course, this is a victory that uh, Suko needs to earn, and you know, it's not going to be easy for him. However, he has the potential. And that's about what I can say about him. And the last creature of this list is Struthiomimus. And I'm just gonna say it uh, right here. Struthiomimus, F there. I absolutely do not understand this creature. It is too fast for any other creature to keep up with and uh, take. He can, he can, the only creature that has a chance to you know, keep up with him in terms of overall speed are the Hudson only because of his flying abilities. However, on on land, the Strigo members are the fastest creature in the in the, in the game on the official game. It doesn't really have any natural enemies to say the last, and it's so annoying. It's so, it's too fast. It doesn't have any special abilities or anything that sets it apart. Sets it apart. Unlike the Cantosaurus, it doesn't have any unique animation. It doesn't have any unique calls. Um, it is not semi-aquatic, and you know you don't you you're only land. You're only you only you don't have any you don't have any uniqueness. You're only fast and annoying, and that's about it. So with that, everybody, um, I'm gonna try and get the entire thing here. I'm gonna have to move myself a bit there. 
this is uh, the tail list for now. And uh, hopefully I didn't piss off too many people uh, with this and I hope most of you can agree. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course, uh, there are some people who are going to disagree about this, but at least uh, this is at least uh, my conclusion. With that being said, I think uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, but Rose may come with the pitchforks and torches later. I'm going to go and uh, make myself uh, food. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam Vokter, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.